Something that did not come uh, soon enough. YouTube cancels Rewind for good after years of everyone hating it. YouTube kindly stops rewinding. And to be perfectly honest, it's long overdue. Uh, YouTube Rewind, the company's annual year-end roundup of trends, creators, memes, and the most popular videos on the site, has been cancelled for good, the company confirmed to TubeFilter today. Thank you to all the creators involved in Rewind. We'll be watching you for your rewinds as we refocus our energies on celebrating you for the trends that make blah, for the trends that make YouTube fire with a different and updated kind of experience. Stay tuned. So it looks like they're they're cancelling like the rewind in itself, but it looks like they're going to do something else. Uh, instead, YouTube will refocus our energies on celebrating you and the trends that make YouTube fire emoji. Blah blah blah. Uh, with a different and updated kind of experience, although the company didn't elaborate further on what it will be replacing Rewind with, and I've got a feeling that it is going to be, it is going to be like just as terrible as <laughs> the older stuff. Uh, YouTube will also be relying on creators on its platform to fill the gap, with a spokesperson telling TubeFilter that it will continue to be inspiring to see the myriad of ways the most creative content producers in the world, or YouTube creators, encapsulate the end of year in their video recaps as YouTube retires its own Rewind video. The news of YouTube cancelling Rewind permanently isn't a huge surprise. The company already took off 2020, citing the difficulties of the year. 2020 has been different and it didn't really, it didn't, doesn't feel right to carry on as if it weren't. I, I believe that there wasn't any Rewind uploaded at all last year, or was that the one where they done it like a Watch Mojo Top 10 style video? Because that was the last Rewind that came out. But Rewind had already been struggling long before the pandemic. 2018's video was viciously panned by the YouTube community and to this day remains the most disliked video ever posted to the platform. Creators argued that the company was shifting focus from the real community, including controversial creators like Logan Paul and PewDiePie, in favour of more advertiser-friendly choices. And I, uh, I remember, I remember when that video came out. Like it opened up with uh, Will Smith. Oh yeah, yeah, that's hot. That's how I need some, I need some mer Mercas Brown Lee. Like that's like nobody goes. Oh yeah, Will Smith. Yeah, yeah, yeah the YouTuber. Oh yeah, I know, I know him. He's that. He's that guy with a YouTube channel, right? And it was all these other people. Like they had Ninja in it and the, the fucking Fortnite bus, which is, which was terrible, right? It was just, it was absolutely terrible. And there was like a focus on like mainstream outlets and mainstream actors and all this type of stuff as well like people who are you know they've they've already got their own thing well smith has his movies the mainstream people have their own tv shows on like national tv networks and stuff you know they've, they've got youtube channels yeah but no one associates them like with youtube like youtube if anything it's their side gig so everyone was like why why are these people getting all the focus and not the actual youtubers themselves and it's because you know in the age of offence, that every YouTuber has been caught up at some point in some sort of controversy. Like, for example, my the very beginning of my career on YouTube was a controversy, um, and it's just that's why YouTube always try their hardest to play it safe. So they always go for the the super safe, like normie people, and that's what. But the problem is, the vast majority of YouTube doesn't actually watch them. So everyone was sort of like, who the who the fuck's this? When the video came out, and then you had all that. I'm so proud. Of this community. <laughs> it's like Gabby Hanna, remember Gabby Hanna, you know, who was who was literally included in YouTube Rewind. She's always like on the trending page. And then she actually did the whole YouTube is killing my channel. Like, fuck it, fuck you, bitch. What do you mean? What do you mean YouTube is killing your channel? People like us, you know that I, I never hit the algorithm. I never ever hit the algorithm. My my videos go out to my own subs, and that is pretty much it. Pretty much it. Like uh, I don't, I don't get on the trending page. I don't get any of that stuff. I got on trending twice on YouTube gaming, but I was like number like forty six or something in the list, and that that lasted a couple of hours, and then I was, you know, I think they realised. But I basically some people's videos don't hit trending. The algorithm doesn't give us any love. You were literally in rewind, and you've got millions of subs, right? So sure, right, but. YouTube Rewind, like, I basically, PewDiePie, the most, like, the most subscribed YouTuber, well, so, so YouTuber, who gives a fuck about those other guys, I don't even remember their name, 
PewDiePie, to be perfectly honest, should be in every single rewind, right? And, you know, in our eyes, he is the face of YouTube. Like, when everyone goes, name a famous YouTuber, the first person they're going to say is PewDiePie. And then it would be, like, Mr. Beast and, like, all the other ones, you know, Markiplier, all the all the YouTubers that people, you know, <laughs> actually give a fuck about. You know, the ones that we actually know and love and enjoy. And, right, you know, maybe people like... Mark Rober and Smarter Every Day and Vsauce and like all these other people that we like and everything, but YouTube would never go like you. You wouldn't see Max. You wouldn't see Max and Chad. Like you wouldn't see them in Rewind, even though they're fucking excellent and they make really really good content. You wouldn't see them on there. Like, but the problem is, you know, YouTube Rewind is for the YouTube community, and these guys are extremely popular within the YouTube community. So when the YouTube community go on and see a bunch of literally who's then that's why they get mad. And that was one of the biggest gripes about the uh, 2018's one. Uh, and 2019's video attempted to skirt controversy entirely by shifting its format from the big budget mashup of YouTubers from years past to a more ordinary and boring list of clips of most watched creators' videos and trends. Yeah, that was the one that was the... Uh, I thought that was last year, but oh well, uh, time flies. Yeah, that was the one that was essentially a watch mojo list. It, was, it literally, like, I don't know if it's still up, but if you watch it, it was literally like a top 10 watch mojo list. That'll be the sirens outside. Uh, but whether well received or endlessly dunked on, rewind videos have been a big part of YouTube's culture for the past decade. Hopefully whatever YouTube does end up doing to replace its big year-end celebration ends up a little less controversial going forward. Like, the thing was, in their attempts to avoid controversy, like the rewind videos became controversial. And that was the problem. And it's just that, like, no matter what you do, it's at the point now where it is, it's now the thing to dunk on rewind. And it is, you know, it is a little bit unfair. Whereas YouTube could actually go out their way, like, picture a video that had, like, I wouldn't make rewind, not, you know, because of the controversy and also because I'm not big enough. But I think YouTube could actually make a brilliant rewind that had. PewDiePie and I had Mr. Beast and I had everybody in it and everything doing like fun shit and like highlighting all the stuff of YouTube over the years and everything. You could even have Keemstar or whatever, anybody like that in it, right? And it could be like an actually very good rewind. The problem is like even if they put out a good one, everyone will just dunk on it because dunking on rewind is the done thing. And you would also get people going, yeah, why, why is he in it? He's a Nazi, he's this, he's that, blah, blah, blah. It's, it's at the point now where no matter what they do, people are going to hear it and people are going to shit on it. So I understand why they retired it. But see what see one of the people that uh, did one of the best actual YouTube rewinds that I thoroughly enjoyed, and I still go back and revisit this video now and again, is when uh, How To Basic did his face reveal. That, that video is, I would say, is the ultimate YouTube rewind because it had everybody in it. Had absolutely everybody in that video, and it was a funny, hilarious video. And there was even some faces in there that like aren't really around anymore and aren't really on the scene, or people that have since been caught in some controversies and all that type of stuff. And it was just, it was fantastic. I loved that video. So basically, like creators should all go together and make their own version of Rewind. Like someone should take the charge of the project, and they should do like their own version. Um, I think you know. I just a huge collab between creators. That way, you know, nobody can fucking complain about it because, you know, we, we are the ones that bloody made it. I think that should be the thing. As for what YouTube's going to do, I have no idea. But, yeah, it was uh, it was definitely long overdue to put Rewind to bed.